What is going on, everybody? My name is Japes, and welcome to another episode in my career mode series. Do want to apologize if I sound a little bit different. Still battling this cold, and that compounded with uh, Thanksgiving food and drink here means that I am uh, not recovering maybe as quickly as I should be. But we're making some changes to the lineup with some of the new signings. We're getting Memphis to pay in, Thomas Callis in, uh, Nana Welbeck is making his way onto the subs bench. Uh, we're moving a lot of the players that were with us from the start. Are now kind of headed to the reserves a little bit. We're going to be playing Benzia, Delafeu, and Depay up for... No, we have a Turbe, so we're going to be starting our newest signing, Juan Manuel Iturbe, who looks to be just a fantastic player. We're playing Cardiff City in uh, his debut match, and that should be a pretty challenging one because Cardiff's got a pretty darn strong championship side as far as they go. Mateo stepping inside, rifles a shot wide with his right foot, and that's when I realized that he had to act so Absolutely no left foot. So, uh, but Iturbe using his pace, stepping inside here and fires a shot low at the far post, parried away by the keeper. And I thought, all right, so maybe power shots aren't his thing. Maybe we'll have to take a look and see how his finesse shots work out. But it was Delafeu's turn to step inside and off the post. And oh, the rebound saved as well. And it was brutal and it was devastating. And I worried that Cardiff would need just one chance. But when the chances were like that and a dinky little header to the keeper, it's not something to be too worried about. Benzia slips in a turbe and there's the finesse shot into the far corner. A goal and the opener on his day in the 55th minute to give us a lead against Cardiff City. And that is exactly what we needed to happen and exactly why we brought him in is, uh, you know, well, obviously he's replacing Ints, but goals like that. And he steps inside again. And this time he fires it very, very much so straight at the goalkeeper with his left foot. So finesse shots seem to be the way forward with Iturbe. It's going to be tough to keep that in mind. But just like that, DeSanto, the volley, and we are level at one apiece. Not what I wanted to see happening at all. Mateus getting free, finds a turbo, and oh, shot is blocked on that. And we're back outside working it around to Moralia. Moralia, who uh, is, I'm thrilled to have now back in the lineup after his little bit of an injury, but another low shot, and it's saved, and a parried. It's saved again on the header. And it was, ah, uh, I could not believe that I was going to draw this match. Nice little shot there at Craig Bellany before he is taken off the pitch uh, for noon. Uh, or no one, I'm not sure how, I think it's noon, it's got to be noon. Uh, but we get a corner here, Vilhena cross in, and that header is blocked by his defender. So we get another chance, we're going to put big Vilhena on it again. Great to have him in the lineup. As you guys remember, he was out for about two months uh, earlier in the year, earlier in the campaign. So it's wonderful to have him back. And we're going to give another corner a shot here. 90th minute, it's got to go in right. Well, that is a poor corner kick, and that is how this one is going to come to a close. One apiece, and a very frustrating one apiece it was. So there's the, uh, th the club now acknowledging that after a turbo played a match, that he is officially with us. We just got the email. So uh, we, you know, we've, we've got a steal in a turbo. As far as I'm concerned, that first match went really well. He seems to be a clever player. It's now transfer deadline day, and, you know, we we don't have any cash, really, to play on transfer deadline day. But that doesn't mean that we won't be, you know, a busy day for us. It ticks it down every hour. Uh, we get an offer for Craney, which I was thrilled with, and I thought, you know what? I, the offer might not get much better than this, so I'm going to just go ahead and accept it, get a little bit more cash to play with, and get a little bit more, uh, you know, a few more uh, thousand in wages to work with. And, uh, you know, we have Baptista who fills in nicely at left back and right back. So that's really not something that we have to worry about. I also think with the amount of wingers now that we have, if I really wanted to, I could play one of the wingers back at left back or right back as well. It's not something that I think I'd be too bothered by. Plus, I'm pretty sure I could slot Moralia in at one of the outside back spot. I could slot Emre Khan in. I could slot Osborne in. So really, I feel like I have plenty of depth and plenty of versatile players that will allow me to uh, to sell a few of them on. But uh, Mole Nguosson, he is still hanging out in our youth academy. We're, we're now into the first ever world championship qualifier match with Colombia. I'm about to make my international management debut versus Chile. Currently, Colombia is not sitting in, uh, there's not set to qualify for the next round. And that is, that's tough, you know. I've got a lot of work to do is what it looks like, or at least a little bit of work. It's not like they're super far out, but it's Muriel and 
Little known fact or extremely known fact, Muriel is fast. He is lightning fast. And I did not know that he was going to feel like this strong of a player in uh, career mode when I picked him as a uh, or picked Columbia as a team. You know, I was mainly picking them for Falcao, uh, you know, just uh, Rodriguez and some of the other players. But Muriel, oh, my, oh, my, the pace. And look at that for a left footed pass finds Falcao. What a touch. What another touch to finish it. Dink it over the keeper. 19th minute goal. And I was off to a full flying start in my managerial career and this is kind of it's kind of cool because I can uh I can test out some of the younger Colombian players because some of these guys I could definitely add to Blackpool obviously Falcao's out of my price range and players like Muriel I won't grab because uh Calfrizi used Muriel and there's no sense in being re repetitive on career mode I don't actually know what he sells for either but some of the guys like Ibarbo uh, is playing in the midfield and can play on either wing for me. There's a shot from him right there. He looks to be a pretty darn strong player. And so he's one that I'll have to take into consideration moving forward. Not really too much work from Chile as they, uh, this game was pretty dominant. Falcao picking it up and a one, two pass with a Barbo right there. And Arturo Vidal trying to bully Falcao off, but Falcao just too strong. El Tigre crosses it in in Barbo. And how about that for a volley? Pat your thigh, big man. That is a fantastic finish crushes it into the side netting and that brings us at three to nil and that is how we i believe we'll go into halftime at three to nil so 45th minute we're headed into halftime three nil three wonderful first half goals and it, it couldn't you couldn't ask for a better start to an international managerial career that uh, we may or may not have but in the second half it got a little bit worrying just after halftime roberto suazo manages to rifle a shot home and in the 64th minute though we're back on the attack it's Falcao with a terrible shot somehow it falls to Muriel and he's unable to put it by the Chilean keeper and we get another throw in shortly after that we're going to work it around Armero to Freddy Guarín all the way over to Aguiar who I don't know if will stay on the side but it goes to Muriel Muriel's going to go ahead and cross it right back in perfect cross finds Aguiar and he puts it away with his head to bring us at four to one and that should seal the deal for us and it does so indeed full-time 4-1 great start to the uh international career would have loved the shutout however we will take a three goal cushion any day of the week and the colombians have serious serious offensive firepower and i really think that i could do some damage with this team we've got zapata and paria as our center backs as well so a nice combo of center backs Anyways, guys, that's where this episode is going to close. If you did enjoy it, a like, a thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. Other than that, I'll be doing my best to have a path to power out later today as we continue on with trade week. Um, but if we could get 2,000 likes on, that, on this video, that'd be awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.